some of operate from vacuum. So mm -hmm. a leader needs to be trained mm -hmm. from uh, right from a young age. Mm -hmm. Secondly, after being trained, we have something called the heritage part. Heritage is whereby you are able to to keep what you've learned. Mm -hmm. You find most of us were leaders in university. Yes. In university, we were so many leaders. I'm sure the university that you were in, there's someone you would identify and say, hey, this one can become president. Exactly. This one must become governor. Yes. Have you ever asked yourself today, where is that person? Why? Because after university, that gap mm -hmm. is where now we have the heritage. Yes. You, ha you are already nurtured in university and college. Yes. When you reach after university, you get confused to where to start. Is it to feed your, pro your problems or yeah. is it to feed the, 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 the country with better ideologies? Yes. So what happens? You lose track. Yeah. So you lose the heritage. Mm -hmm. And so you'll find that those leaders disappear. And mm -hmm. they, were so, they were very good. Mm -hmm. You find that in a university, we have 40,000 students. Yeah. You have one acting or a president or a chairman. Mm -hmm. Nowadays they are called chairman. Mm -hmm. That chairman is able to fight for the rights of 40,000 people. Yeah. 40,000 people is a whole constituency. Exactly. A whole constituency yes. per se. Yes. The problems in university and colleges are the same problems we are having with people outside here. If it's sanitation, mm -hmm. if it's issues to do with education, if it's issues to do with everything, roads mm -hmm. and stuff, they are there in the university mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. the colleges. Yes. But this heritage, when you lose it, there's no transformation between university and colleges and the political leadership. Mm -hmm. And now, so we lose a great, a great part, a good number mm -hmm. of, of, of good leaders that would be having. Yes. yes. Can you say from what you have just said, can you say that the youth now feel like they are not fully em embraced when it comes to politics and leadership? Uh, embracing the youth uh, when it comes to leadership is, is they, they feel under, 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 under embraced. Why? Yes. Because there is no mentorship. Mm -hmm. uh, if today I would ask how many leaders that we've had in the past mm -hmm. that have mentored the youth, mm -hmm. you find none. Most of the old leaders, most of the people who have been in those leadership positions for long, they want to stay in those positions for way too long. Yeah. So they fear empowering the youth. Mm -hmm. They don't empower the youth. They don't even mentor anyone. If it's not your family, don't, you cannot mentor someone outside mm -hmm. the family. Yet maybe your family does not even have leadership skills. You can get someone who has a leadership skill and yeah. mentor them mm -hmm. so that you can have a better community. Yes. But the selfishness sometimes leads to that and the people want to be in positions for way too long. Yeah. And yet we've not been this hard for way too long. Mm -hmm. Yes. yes. Uh, let me take you a little back to the attributes of uh, uh, a good youth leader. Talk about the importance of having a solid 